Hey guys, Xandri here, and these are my top six saddest moments for Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers. Make sure you stay until number one because I want to see what you think. Also, if you have not finished Shadowbringers, here's your spoiler alert. There are many spoilers. Ardbert's introduction into Shadowbringers really sets the tone for the whole expansion. You come in to this inn in the Crystarium that you've essentially had to sacrifice part of your ether to get to, and there he is, and he's so surprised that you can see him that he tells you his story about how he and his comrades that you know as the Warriors of Darkness from Stormblood end up trying to save the first, but go under the Astian's rule and are brainwashed and end up filling the area with light and causing the flood. So they don't actually get themselves known as heroes, but only as the people who caused and then tried to stay the flood. Ardbert's friends end up being the ones to sacrifice themselves with Minfilia to stop the flood, but Minfilia tells Ar Ardbert to stay behind to give the people hope. However, the only person that's been able to see Ardbert thus far is you. And it's so horrible in the cutscene when he goes to grab a mug and his hand just goes right through it. It's the saddest thing ever. I cried so hard. And I streamed it, obviously. And everyone in chat said, Welcome to Fieldsbringer, Zan! And I was like, I think I'm just gonna end here! <laughs> But what you don't see in that cutscene that I actually found out later just with hidden undertones is not only did his comrades sacrifice themselves to stay the flood, but in order to get to the first as per the Asian's request, they had to kill themselves. And that's why Ardbert's axe is completely full of blood. And at the end of Shadowbringers, you see after you finally defeat Hades and the light, that his axe is clean. So sad. Oh, he can't even pick up the cup! My hands find no purchase. My gestures catch no eye, and my pleas, be they whispered or screamed, reach not a single ear. <gasps> He's like a ghost! I am a shade. Cursed to do naught but drift. Oh my god. I'm sure everyone can agree that one of the saddest moments in Shadowbringers is when Tessleen is turned into a Sin Eater. Not only is it just sad knowing that this happens to a wonderful woman who is just trying to help those that have been in contact with the Sin Eater and are turning, and you're giving them their last meals, which is absolutely horrible, and you meet Hallrick, who can not even speak, he's essentially a vegetable, but then the whole scene happens. Halric runs away, and you're trying to find him, and all of a sudden he's face to face with a Sin Eater. Tessleen gets in between the two, she's talking about how Halric shouldn't suffer and how no one should suffer this fate, and she gets stabbed. And she's saying all of these things, and she even talks about her mother, and it's the saddest thing, and Halric is just looking at her, and he can't move his face, he has no emotion. And when I actually played this part, when I actually watched this cutscene, I was so mad at Halric because I had forgotten that he was a vegetable anyway. So I'm looking at him going, why don't you care? This woman just sacrificed herself for you and you're doing nothing, no tears, nothing. And chat had to remind me that, hey, Zan, he's a vegetable. So not only do you see Tessleen get stabbed, and she's one of the most nicest characters ever, one of the most heartfelt characters ever, you also see her change. And it is the scariest, most disturbing thing. You watch her retching, throwing up light. You see her bring her face up and it looks like it's melting light and her eyes are glowing and her mouth is wide open. And then she goes into this cocoon and you hear all of this crazy like crashing and thrashing and then she comes out a sin eater and not only does that happen but she still has some of her humanity and she turns and looks at alizé and says forgive me alizé i still can't i tried to rewatch it to put it in this video and i still can't
move on to when we learn about the Amaro. A, the Amaro are super cute. B, you end up seeing that you have to get a relic from the Amaro. And I was really excited because they're adorable and I found out that they were gonna be mounts later on in the game. However, you meet Seto, who wants you to find his medallion. So you do so. You find his medallion and you bring it back to him. And all he can talk about is how his master owned the medallion and it's one of the most precious thing he has because it's his only faith in humans. He talks about how amazing Ardbert is and how he wished he could tell Ardbert that he was so brave and was a hero and how much he missed him and how it's so sad and the reason why the Amaro secluded themselves from the humans is because all the humans remember from Ardbert and his comrades is how they had started the flood rather than them stopping the flood and all of the good things that they did the whole time. And what makes it even worse, and what makes it even more sad, and the part that actually made me cry, is your character looks slightly over and sees Ardbert next to a tree, listening to everything that Seto the Amaro is saying. And Seto has no idea that he's there, but you know. And then Seto says, you know, he's asking you what you think about the situation and he's saying that he wishes that Ardbert could be there and then you say I think he knows how you feel and oh it kills me it absolutely kills me and I still don't have my Amaro and that kills me too so people level up all of your jobs to 80 that is how you get your Amaro okay get one Ardbert was a trusting soul constantly being drawn into the troubles of others. Yet in spite of this, he never thought twice when he saw someone in need. He always tried to help. It was no different then. The world needed heroes. It needed him. And yet... Uh, he was a good man. He deserved to be happy. I wish I could have told him that, at least. Another cutscene that I want to discuss that I thought was one of the saddest scenes in Shadowbringers, not only because it has to do with the fact that you are fighting against a whole Sin Eater battle, and you see some things that Ardbert does that are super sad, but also I want to touch on what other thing you see as well that a lot of people wouldn't have remembered. Now, Lena, who is a Viera, and she's like the, the leader of essentially the military that comes out of the Crystarium, she gets hit and all of her soldiers essentially have turned and she says, they've turned on me. And at first when I watched it, I was like, oh my God, all of her people went against her, not thinking that it meant that they turned into Sin Eaters, which is just a set, but also that she got hit. And so I'm thinking the whole time she's going to turn into a Sin Eater. She's going to turn into a Sin Eater. Spoiler alert, she doesn't. But at the time, I thought she was going to. And it was really cool because all of these other Sin Eaters are essentially grouping up to come in to eat her. And Mini Philia jumps in with her daggers and saves the day and that's also really cool because I never realized how BA she was until I rewatched that cutscene. I was like, man, Millie, Minnie Philia is super BA before she turns into Reen. I mean, seriously. But the main focal point of this scene that is really, really, really horrible is Ardbert is seeing all of these people be attacked and there's nothing he can do about it, but he tries to help this medic who is talking to his friend saying just a little bit longer and it'll all be over and we'll get out of here. But then a Sin Eater is a beautiful Sin Eater, by the way, is coming over from the side and she's coming to get them. And Ardbert says, please, you know, just, just let me be able to do this. Please work. And he takes out his ax and he goes to hit her and the ax goes right through. And he's looking the other way because he can't bear to see what's going to happen. And all you hear are these guys getting eaten as well as them screaming for help and there's nothing that Ardbert can do about it. Nothing. And it ripped my heart to shreds. It, it is so, so sad. And just the sounds are so mortifying. 
I cannot believe that there are so many sad components to Shadowbringers. I can't. Reinforcements are coming, remember? The captain said so. We're going to be all right. Warrior of Darkness has returned. The Bloody Knight has returned. So stay with me, eh? You can't go dying now. God damn it! Please let this work. Please let this work. No. No, no. Stay back. Stay back. Spare me. Why? What have I done to deserve this mercy? I also have a bone to pick with Yoshi P. Now, when I was streaming, I was doing a 12 hour marathon. Toward the end of the 12 hour marathon, I could barely play. I had no idea what was going on. And then I get to the portion where Thancred fights Ranjit. And it's cool, because you get to have some Gunbreaker playstyle if you've never tried the Gunbreaker, so that's great. But then, Thancred, after telling off Ranjit, falls to the ground with his eyes open like this. So I'm thinking he's dead. And then there's voiceovers going on about how he loves Minfilia and how he wants to protect her and how he remembers her ever since he was younger and he's reminiscing. And I'm sitting there going, okay, his life is flashing before he, his eyes. He's dying. He's one of my favorite characters. And I am bawling. Big, ugly tears. Huge tears. I'm so upset. And then... On top of all of this happening, you go to the next cutscene where your character is bringing Minfilia to Amarang and she's meeting the real Minfilia that you know that you've had contact with from the Scions and she changes into Reen because she makes her decision. But then, the next quest is to find Thancred. And I'm sitting here going, I cannot believe that Minifilia and your character don't know that this actually happened. You're going to find Thancred's body. He's going to be dead. It's going to be horrible. And I'm going through this 12-hour thing, and I'm barely awake. And you go up to the steps of this building. Everybody's huddled around someone sitting on the steps. And it's Thancred. And he's fine. I was so angry when I did this that I threw off my headset. And I was cursing out Yoshi P because I was so mad. I could not believe it. He took him from me multiple times and then just brought him back. I was so mad. I'm still mad about it, actually. Not a single day goes by that I don't think about all that you have given me. Countless memories and moments I took for granted. Gods, you grew up so fast. What? All right, I... These top five moments were in no particular order. They're just some of the saddest moments I've come across in Shadowbringers. However, this next clip is the absolute number one saddest moment within FF14 Shadowbringers, and I dare you to disagree. Remember that we once lived. Oh.
Why? I hate Yoshi P. Why does he have to do this to me? Thank you so much for watching my video. Now, again, these are just my saddest moments in Shadowbringers. I would love to hear what your opinions are. And don't forget to like, comment, follow, and subscribe.